everybody. Uh, today is Monday the 28th. Um, of August. Yeah, we uh, want to give you a little update on our meeting today. It was uh, a lot. I think about five hours. Yeah. They told us four, but it ended up to be five. In between. Yeah, and then so um, we met the whole team um, from the what you call nurse coordinator that's gonna be in charge of everything um, and auto, you know, the surgeon and everything like that. So and the financial coordinator, soldier worker, dietitian everything so Candace gonna tell you a little bit about it I'm a little bit I just woke up from a nap and um, she's a little bit more up right now <laughs> so it was good they said all the test results um, looked good and just waiting on looking at the images from the CAT scan so the surgeon can make sure that everything so. Oh, and I have a stress test tomorrow morning and some vaccine stuff and blood work, of course. Blood work, blood work, everywhere it's blood work. Well, they already told you that. Get going. Maybe I should get uh, donating to blood instead of a kidney. That's why oh. you gotta keep your blood up. So, um, so that, that's basically the good news is that... Um, all Tom's test results look good so far, and yeah, because of his age, they said that um, he's a what do you call it, more good candidate than someone who is older because it's more riskier the, the older you are. Um, however, if you have diabetes on top of kidney disease, then that's a little bit more risky because you have more health issues. Um, so. Tom has diabetes, so that's just so something the, he needs to keep on top of. As long as he keeps it manageable, like his blood sugars don't get too high, and he doesn't have neuropathy, which is when you have nerve pain in your feet and your hands. Yeah. Um, he hasn't had that since, I think, March 26. March, yeah. Um, well, you did have a cramp in your leg the other day, but yeah. I think that could have been due to not enough water yeah. or not enough potassium. So. But I don't have a lot of issues. I guess taking care of Candace have helped me take care of myself better than other people that are not, I mean at first too we weren't educated about this disease so um, it's, um, it's still hard but um, found out some true numbers today and the study and I'm in the 10%. If I stay on dialysis, 10% um, people die every year. If I get a kidney, a living donor, they, the doctors say, of course, it's the best and the fastest way. Yeah. <coughs> we found out. Uh, and also financially our, is better because, um, you know, you have to think about insurance. So um, our deductible and maximum out of pocket has already been met for the year so if he has the transplant surgery this year then that will be covered 100% instead of 70% um, so if this goes to next year um, then the deductible you know goes back to zero and so then we'd have to meet the deductible and maximum out of pocket yeah, the, finan cover stuff, yeah so. the financial coordinator show us a chart of how much everything would cost and yeah without insurance it's like three hundred thousand yeah it's crazy. that's just for one year yeah that's including the medication for one year afterwards yeah. and doctor follow-up and so uh, she told yeah. us that we can um, raise some fun it's not go fund me is um, it's, it's a special one for medical expenses Yeah, and only. that's all you can do, use is for medical stuff, and they don't get taxed for it. Yeah. And you know me about taxes. I hate every government, so I don't and like to pay. And it's tax deductible for the people that donate to yeah. it, so that's yeah. good. It's a win-win. We don't get taxed, and you can get a tax deduction. So we're going to look into that, get 
that started up. So, um, that's going to also help with paying for um, lodging, food, travel expenses for caregivers. So, I know there were some friends that said that they would come up here to help with caregiving for a week or a few days so yeah i think we're gonna be moving you can pay for that through that fund i think we'd be moving our rv um as soon as we find out uh a campground around here and yeah it'd be it'd be best to stay in salt lake city to get this done with uh, we also found out this region is also included in nevada and California so the waiting list for a deceased donor is longer and they say Texas I think Texas and Oklahoma is one region by itself yeah. and they're like one of the shortest so the doctor did mention that we might want to list ourselves in multiple um, places regions yeah so. and uh, if we wanted to get it done so like in the winter say we don't want to be up here get it done somewhere in california or nevada we could um, but we have to go through their whole transplant process um, yeah, that's too so much. some of the testing they said is probably going to be the same like blood work and cat scan but then there they might have different tests that have to be done so then we'd have to go down there and get those tests done yeah so might as well stay in one region i know we don't like to stay in the cold weather that's why we got big blue but but well, we could stay in an apartment or you know rent a, a home, small home yeah. and park our rv there so we have options because we have a friend that lives in the area that could help us out so he has connections um the other thing we learned today uh, on the financial side is that once uh, someone gets a transplant and is no longer on dialysis then the American Kidney Fund that is paying for the dialysis stuff yeah and well because you're not going to do dialysis anymore of course they're not going to pay for it yeah. but they also pay for the Mark. premium of the insurance uh, that Tom has and it's like $500 per month so that means the medication, if, if we keep the insurance, then it's only $5 per month per medication, which there's like a whole bunch of needs to take. So it's gonna add up to like $45 per month. But if he doesn't have that insurance and just go with Medicare, I believe it was gonna be like three or $400 per month which is a lot <laughs> so I had to think about it should I stay on dialysis and not burden anybody and knowing the results is going to happen now that I pretty much know how many more years or take a chance on a transplant and um, anything can happen even during surgery yeah there's risks you know. He so, died during surgery, but they said it's very, very rare, and it's usually because the person has a bad heart. Um, I wasn't lying when I said better go to this year reunion because might not be around for the next one. Huh? Yeah, I mean, with anything, you should seize the day and enjoy every day as if it was your last because you don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. So, I mean, I feel kind of. I guess I want to hear everything, all the info I can today, but hearing some of the dates and timeline, um, you know, they have to tell me the bad side of it too. And just now I'm just constantly thinking what, what if, what if, and you know, if Candace will be okay without me and there's no without you. The, the option is you're going to get the transplant or you're not going to do transplant. You can stay on I dialysis. just don't want to burden anybody. That's all. Uh, well, I mean, the money, that's an easy burden. I'm not talking to about fix. money. I'm talking about the time and 
effort yeah. stressing you out. So yeah, but it, they said it'd be one month. If you do the transplant, you have to be in this area at least for one month. No I hate this because I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do anything. Well, you did eat a lot of sweets, so that's your downfall. And you didn't go to the doctor for five years. That's why your blood pressure got was unchecked. Yeah, as so, of right. But it's okay. I mean, other people go through the same thing. You're not the only one. You're human. Yeah, but I got a lot of goals left. Okay, so. And we need right to focus now, I on might not even be able to finish them. You focus on the ones that you can do now. What if this and what if that? You know, you gotta stay it's hard. Positive. It's hard. I know I, I gotta be strong, but. I know it's overwhelming. <sighs> we just gotta let it soak in and try to figure out what's the best thing to do. You know? Other just... people have done it, so it's not impossible. And you've got people that you've talked to that have gone through it. Uh, who is it? Chris and Bob and who else did you talk to that had a transplant? I don't remember. Anyway, there were a few friends, so... Just please continue to pray for us. Yes. I'm going to do my best to stay strong and stay alive because... I want to be around for a long time. I want you to be around feeling good. So I got a big decision to make. What should we do? So just pray that we make the right decision. Denise says stop doubting. God is with you. I thought the decision was already made to do the transplant. It's yeah, but now I see the figuring out how to handle I also the see the bad side of it, so I don't know. Well the benefit of doing the transplant is you'll live longer than if you just do dialysis. So looking at that alone, I go with transplant. Do but her, if you look at the list, they gave us a one-page list of all the risks <laughs> there are with I think that's what got me. Doing I could transplant, so get I think that's what's skin got cancer and I could get all kinds of stuff. If you don't wear sunblock, there's things that you can do. So they because his immune system's gonna be suppressed because the drugs he has to take after transplant are to make his body not reject the kidney that's born in his they body. Have to take but it steroids. also makes his body uh, susceptible to getting sick easier because, you know, the kidney is seen as a foreign object, so other foreign objects are not going to be bought by the body as well. So he has to be in a very clean environment. So we're going to. I'm gonna have to clean the house every day. I have to clean the cat litter. I have to pick up the dog poop because he can't risk inhaling that stuff and getting sick, um, you know, or touching it and getting sick. Or he's gonna have to like be Mr. Germaphobe and wash his hands and wear gloves all the time. Um, you're gonna have to wear sunblock every time you go in the sun because you're gonna be more sensitive to the sun. But you're going to be able to do other things that you can't do now. That you know your energy is going to be better. So I'm just glad I got to see you know, some of the friends and my relatives this past week. It really helped. Yeah. I got to see one of my old coach. I really helped. Just knowing that you guys care about us like family. I really appreciate it.
appreciate your friendship, appreciate your love, your prayers. That's the most important. I know we can figure out stuff. I just, I don't know, I can only take so much. It's yeah, draining it's, my it's mind. It's overwhelming right now. I just let it, just sleep on it. You always say that to me, you, you always sleep on everything. So that way you can come back with a clear mind later. I just want to finish my goals. I want to make her happy. I want to build that campground. I want to build our animal foundation. Yeah, we will. We just need to get that transplant or a miracle. <laughs> I keep on ho hoping that there'll just be a miracle and one day you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, you know what, I'm peeing a whole bunch more and um, oh that's the thing I forgot to ask him how much percentage is your kidney function I tell you there's so many things in my well mind. we're just sitting outside in the parking lot it's very nice weather tonight so I just wanted you guys to see that's where we're at that's the the building Again, I, I need you got to be our cheerleader. I always like to be everybody's cheerleader, but this time I'm asking you. Yeah, please. If you can call Tom on a regular basis, at least once a week, <laughs> then that will keep his spirits up. Because talking and seeing people, you know, video chat with him I know that will make him just feel like he's in the same room with you even though he can't give you a hug and a kiss but at least you can see your smiling face and I'm always it's hard been, to resist a smile you gotta smile when somebody smiles at you I've always been in the front I always throw the first punch run down the field on the first to break that tackle I'm always daring and always like to challenge myself, but I gotta tell you, I'm scared right now. I don't want to lose her. Well, you can't lose me. I don't want her to live by herself. I'm with God. I'm always with God. I know Kenda's very strong, but it's my role to take care of her. And everybody else, because I always feel like I'm always there. You're a big brother, and now I can't do much, and it tear me up. I mean, you can't do much. Okay, tell them what you did right before this video. All you said is you took a nap. That's not true. What did you do? It's not important. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to tell them that. So, on our RV, when we slid out the living room, I heard this big a chunk and I look underneath to see what the noise was and there's this metal paneling that I guess protects the muffler heat from the rest of the um, stuff that's under there and uh, it yeah it was like hanging off like it's just this long thing it's like about half the length of the RV and I can see it's like kind of like dangling there so I guess the slide out when it was closed, was holding it, and then when it opened, it just like kind of was drooping. I was like, oh crap. So I showed it to Tom, and I'm like, well, I think it can be fixed. Anything can be fixed, right? So it's just a matter of figuring it out. And um, that was yesterday when we got here, and we didn't worry about it, and then we took a nap, and he's like, okay, I wanna fix that thing. He's like, I pretty much know what I need to do. And he crawled under there with some wires and some tools. And I suggested, well, we could duct tape it, uh, gorilla tape it until we can get it welded. Because it, the welding spots actually uh, wore out. That's what you want to call it. It's not screwed on. It's all welded in spots. And it just 
popped off the welding, but he fixed it. And it didn't even take you that long. I think like 15, 20 minutes, and he did that. So I was proud of him. I took some pictures um, because I was afraid, like, oh my gosh, you're gonna have to call some RV repairman to weld the thing back on, and you know, it's gonna cost us another thousand dollars. Well, I like doing stuff like that. Yeah, like, you're just, an just, just, he kind of robbed me of my personality. Yeah. And make, and that's why I always tell you guys, make sure you stay on top of your health. Yeah. If you can't, get your physical. Get if your you can't do anything, physical. you know, to help, just help yourself. That's a falling star. Well, make a wish. Don't say it out loud. Yeah, whenever you see a falling star, you make a wish. I saw a falling star the other. When was that? I'm August sorry. 12th. Um, just if you can't help do something and I'll just promise me that you can help yourself because I know with Candace and God and you guys I get pushed to to live this life I love this life and I wish I can be there for everybody too. That's why I'm asking you. You know, Candace and I, we always cheer for everyone. And it's hard for me to ask, but now I'm asking you guys to cheer for us. I don't want it to sound like it's us, but there's a lot of people out there that need to hear your voice and need to see your face. and. I told the medical team today, they asked me what was my favorite thing to do, and I say I love being with my friends and family. So I hope I get to see you guys more. And that's one of the goal in my life, to finish this life, is to build a nice campground so we can always have a place to go and have our get together and Candace and I just love having people around us. We don't like the city life, but we love the people. So, but, um. Anything else you want me to no. talk about? Well, tomorrow yeah, we have some more else. tests, and then we'll go from there. So I'm sorry I take up some of your time, and um, I just didn't want to answer all these calls and texts, because... I know, because I know everybody's going to be like, well, how'd it go? <laughs> so I hope much. this answers most of your questions. Yeah, um, it's too much right now. If you now. have questions that we didn't answer, please. Send me a text or something. Yeah, or, I mean, and it can post it on Facebook if it's not something like really I just want to say personal. I love you guys. <laughs> and, again, thanks for coming out and see us on last short notice. And thank you for all the encouraging words and support. We yes. both need it. We need you now more than ever. Yes. Thank you for all your prayers. So I just... I just want to say thank you and I love you guys. Yes, thank you. And we love you all. Because we know that you all love us. So, done? Good night and aloha.